In this section, we're going to learn about layouts. The first layout that we're going to discuss is called the absolute layout. Let's make a new project and let's call this Cute Widgets for Beginners 2 1. We're going to select a Q dialog for the base class. Just going to add a note in here for anybody who downloads the source code. Not really going to write any source code, but just in case. Absolute layouts are an absolute mistake. Do not use them. They are the exact position on the container and do not scale. Well, if we shouldn't use them, why are we even covering them? It's because I want you to fundamentally understand what's going on and why you really shouldn't use them. So let's open up our dialog here. Scale this down. And by default, this is in an absolute layout. So let's just try to give an example of an absolute layout. Let's just drag a line edit on here and kind of goes wherever we put it. Let's hunt for a label. Say, okay, well, enter your name here. Notice how, well, things aren't too great or too bad. I mean, I could kind of expand that. And then let's just put that there. And let's grab some push buttons. I mean, let's just grab a lot of push buttons. And you can see we can actually overlap controls and it gets really confusing and it's pretty challenging for the end user to figure out what you're trying to do. This thing will actually work if we build and run this. Yeah, it works. What a mess. So this is a really bad example. And when I say bad example, I mean, this is probably the worst user interface in the history of user interfaces. This is not even an actual application at this point. I would just collectively throw this right in the trash. So let's try and clean this up a little bit. So let's do this. Let's move these around a little bit. Uh, let's put this button over here because I want this kind of like this. All right, that looks better. Looks a little more sane and rational. Save and run. Now it could be a functional application. The buttons line up. This is actually not lining up with this. And you can see these buttons don't line up. So these are called radio buttons. They line up, but these push buttons are not lining up. These two do, but this one's off. And this doesn't even line up with any of that. So it's aesthetically very unpleasing. And the big reason, it doesn't scale. And this is scaling. So when you resize the window, you want your layout to scale with it. You can move the window around and everything moves with it, but when you scale, eh, nothing happens. So you can end up in a situation like this where you only see half a button or worse, the buttons just aren't there. So that's an absolute layout and it's an absolute nightmare to deal with. So do not use this. There are better ways which we're going to cover right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of a larger project out of Udemy called Cute Widgets for Beginners with C++. This is a large course with 73 lectures and 17 hours of video footage. This course covers everything from what is a widget all the way down to complete example applications using the skills you've learned in this course. Sorry, there's no QML in this course. This is strictly cute widgets. I will make a QML course later on, but this just focuses on widgets from a beginner's perspective. Even though this is a beginner's course, you do need to have some fundamental information available. You need to know C++ and the Qt Core Libs. I do have some courses available out on Udemy, Qt Core Beginners, Intermediate Advanced. It's not necessary you take these courses, but it is highly recommended. And as always, I'm available out on the Voidrooms Facebook group, along with 3,000 other programmers. See you there.